Hey everyone, Gil here at Camp Patton Family Compound. If you remember a couple days ago, I posted a video on a shopping haul to Sam's Club and Winco. And at Sam's Club, we picked up a, a big amount of pork chops. Well, that's, you know, I got to do something with them besides just stick them in the fridge and let them go bad. So here's what I'm doing with them. I'm taking the food saver and I'm going to be uh, bagging them up into meal size, you know, portions, which for me and my wife is going to be two uh, pork chops per bag. And then there are a couple of other pieces that are shoulder chops, and we're going to do those as well. So let's get out of here. So if you don't have one of these units, uh, these uh, food savers or uh, seal a meal or anything like that, you really should get one for, you know, store, you know, it's just so great. Um, these bag things work so much better for freezing meats than putting them in just a, um, a Ziploc bag, you know, one of their freezer bags. Because if you have it in there more than a couple months, it'll, even in the, uh, the freezer bag, you'll start getting that frostbite, whereas this, it won't. So, what, what I did already, I already sealed one end of the material. And I'm going to put a couple pork chops in here. One of the things I try to make sure of is that the, uh, the pork chops sometimes have, have a sharp edge where they cut the bone. I try to make sure that those aren't in a way where it might you know, as it sucks all the air out and, and forms around it, it won't uh, cut the uh, bag. And this is great. I just need to take the end of the bag here and I stick it into the uh, green tray here. And then I close it down, lock it in place. The light comes on, and actually this is big enough. I can probably separate these in a little bit. This is the last of the roll. Yeah, you lay them flat, all right, and I hit vacuum. And it just sucks everything, all the air out of it slowly there. Automatically, when it's real, as it notices all the air is out of there, then it automatically heat seals it. Got the heat seal light flashing there, saying that it's sealing. Okay, and boom, done. Lights went out. I can unlock it. And there we go. Sealed. I mean, it's in there nice and tight. It ain't moving around anywhere. So, I got some other ones here to do, but uh, I'm going to use a little bit smaller one. I think, yeah, I'm going to use a little bit smaller one here and run some of it through. So what I do is I put it in the tray, pull it out, and I measure enough to do it, and a little bit extra to make sure I can seal it right. Close it down, cut the bag, and actually what I need to do is I should have left it closed. And I just go ahead and just hit seal, oh, lock it first, hit seal only, and that will seal the bottom of the next bag. And so I, then it seals, I'll go ahead and put the next piece in this one here. Next one is sealed. So that's sealed. I just sort of roll it up out of the way for a moment. Go ahead and put this thing here up in here.
go. Yeah, sometimes if you don't get the uh, get the latest right, it gets the uh, uh, bag folds over a little bit, you know, on its own. It'll uh, doesn't get a good seal, and it won't seal. It's you won't know, function right all the way. Okay, there we go. That time it got a good seal. All right, so let me show you what I've done here. All right, so these are all the packages I did. I did three of the shoulder chops in singles. No, oh, sorry, four of the shoulder chops in singles, and everything else, uh, the other shoulder chops and uh, regular pork chops, I double bag, double bagged them. So this is what I did with that. Uh, yeah, ten pounds of uh, pork chops. So as always. Stay happy, stay safe, stay prepared, build up your food supply. See you in the next video. Take care.